vision for this school is to be the center of the community, much like churches were 30 years ago. Um, so a parent who is now a city council member came to me and said, look, you know, I, I know the problem out in front of your school in the morning. I, I was out there every morning trying to get parents to move, trying to get um, people not to park, uh, trying to get people not to double park and, and have their child um, uh, negotiate traffic. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, simple fact, the data shows that San Leandro is one of the highest in the county of, uh, the highest school district in the county of obesity rates. And I was watching people literally who live a half a block away drive their child to school. Right? I know where they live because I know where all my students live, right? And they're just down and around. Like it's, it would be so much faster if they just walked them to school. So we sat and talked about some of those issues and then jumped to and sent us to school. So it, it's a no-brainer, really, to um, be a part of, uh, of Safe Routes to School and to get parents on board. So the second year, we got some parents on board, um, and we began walking we school buses. Were, um, some of those walking school buses were picking up anywhere from 5 to 12 kids, with two parents making sure the kids got across the street. We began safely. just with one walk and roll to school day, international walk and roll to school day in the fall. We followed it up with another walk and roll to school day in the spring and realized how many folks were participating. Um, yeah, was, kids love it. Anytime they can be awarded or rewarded or high-fived because they come to school on a scooter or they wear, wear a helmet or whatever, they love it. They love to participate. I'm out there with a bullhorn acting the fool and everybody, everybody's a little bit happier.